and this is an example of American Mod design. But before American Mod was British Mod, which in my opinion is far more cool. And British Mod usually brings much higher price on eBay. Hi everyone, Christine here from Cherry Vintage, CherryVintage.com. This is my first sales video as requested, but unfortunately I waited so long to do it that some of the listings no longer show on eBay or Google, so I'll just have to show you the photos for like the first six or seven items. And I guess I should start out by telling you they all sold on eBay. They all sold as buy it now or buy it now with best offer because I usually don't do um, auctions. The price point for all the things that I've sold in this video is from $25 to $100. And I'll tell you what I paid and then the sold price. So the first thing I'm going to start with here, these are a pair of Ferragamo pumps. They're two-tone because the body of the shoe is kind of like a bone color and the toe tips and the heels are gray. And I think what made them desirable is they have the cutout on the instep there. And cutout is a hot keyword term for 2013 fashion. And the brand is Ferragamo. And I find if I have smaller sized uh, shoes, those usually sell well to Japan. So I paid a dollar or two on these, and they sold for $34.99, and the customer paid the shipping. Okay, these beauties. Gosh, I wish I didn't sell these. I wish they were just one size larger. I would have kept them for myself. This is so my style. It's from the 50s and 60s. They're blue suede um, pumps, and I would call, I would put, use the word rockabilly if you find some like this. And let's see, make sure you put in the size, 7B. Always show the size, too. And check, too, to make sure that the back, the heels are good, and the toes. They don't have to be perfect, but... And see this little part down here? These are called heel taps, that little black part. And make sure those are in good condition, and then you're going to get a better price. You can also just take them to a shoe repair and have them replaced. So, I forgot if I just said it or not, but those sold for $74.99, buy it now, the customer paid shipping. And I went to New York City, and the lady was a wardrobe missus, mistress for a small theater, which is cool. Okay, this is a 1960s mod um, pair of pumps. It's made out of lizard leather. So anytime you pick up lizard or um, snake skin pumps, I find that if you clean them, and condition them, that that makes them sell better. At least it has for me. And it's very easy to do. So those went to Canada. They sold for $35.99 customer paid shipping. This was from one of my first collectible videos. Collectible hauls videos. And this is the Emmett Kelly um, ornament. And that sold for $25.99. No, $24.99 free shipping. Okay, this dress sold on eBay for $100. I accepted the customer's best offer of $100 and they paid the shipping. And unfortunately, I don't think my computer monitor is showing the detail very good, but I'll move ahead in some pictures. Maybe it'll give better detail. But what made it very desirable is that it's made out of crochet. It's, it's um, manufactured crochet. It's not handmade. But it's from the 70s and it's lined. Some you'll find are unlined. But these white and white is the highest desirability currently on eBay. So if you look through the completeds, if you look like for 70s, crochet, or scallop is another good keyword. Dress, white, or cream. You'll see that they can go for good money. This is a pack of 60s or 70s vintage playing cards and Congress is the brand name which is really collectible and I believe I paid 50 cents for them and they sold within 24 hours of me listing them on eBay for $24.99 free shipping. Okay this is a pair of 1980s um, Mario Valentino pumps and I think what made them sell well is that they're color blocked but I think something that detracts from it that people isn't very desirable is this um, leather. This lizard leather is really 
rough and even if you condition it it's just kind of poor quality and it's not really the Valentino can't think of the designer's first name of Valentino that's highly desirable but regardless I paid like two bucks for these and they sold for $35 and customer paid shipping this is a oil painting it's 11 by 14 on canvas wrapped canvas and it was from the Salvation Army it cost me $1.50 it was half off from the three dollars and I had it listed at $85 the customer offered me $75 and I took it they paid the shipping and you know I I collect fine art I'm a fine artist myself and there's a lot of good to be said for fine art buying and re reselling it but it's also very easy to find art like this which I would say is more of craft painting it's sort of like Bob Ross and I'm not so much of a fine art snob that I would not sell this because you know I only paid a dollar fifty and it sold for seventy five dollars so to me it was well worth it this is a 1990s Star Trek vintage USS Excelsior coffee mug cup false graph 1993 bone china I paid I believe a dollar for it and it sold for 45 bucks free shipping you might want to study that pattern because if you can get full place settings it can go for up in the hundreds of dollars so check that out on eBay this is a set of 10 drawer handles from a 1920s or 1930s dresser and what makes them pretty desirable is that they're made out of glass and one has a chip on the handle um, but it's on the underside so it doesn't really show and I just put that in the listing so it was listed at $90 customer offered me $75 and I accepted and she paid the shipping so when you're out treasure hunting you might want to look for vintage hardware this is a pair of 1980s vintage cutout acid wash studs jeans chains biker motorcycles skinny fit jeans size extra small and they sold for $55 if you check my other video I can't remember how much it was off the top of my head but I think it's like three bucks or less that I paid for these and the customer paid the shipping of $5.95 and I honestly feel if I would have waited till the fall I could have sold them for maybe closer to 75 or 100 bucks because they're really that cool and I can never I've never found where there's both cut out studs and chains on these acid wash jeans but I really just wanted some money so I took the 55 bucks and a little tip that I have found selling vintage clothing is that when something is extra small size extra small it's a harder sell this is a set of four 1970s vintage Fire King coffee mugs the pattern is called Superfruit and I had it listed at $99.99 customer offered me 80 bucks I accepted they paid the shipping I think I paid 25 cents to 50 cents I can't remember but if you want to look it up it's in one of my previous videos and I think what makes these desirable is that their pattern is really bright and clear a lot of times um, these 70s mugs 80s mugs have been put through dishwashers and then the pattern gets just dis destroyed or faded and also make sure that you don't have any um, noticeable cracks or chips on the rim that always helps to get a higher price on these this is a 1960s vintage mod dress it's a scooter dress I paid less than a dollar for it got it at a church sale it sold for $54.99 and the customer paid the shipping. What makes it a scooter dress, right there if I can enlarge it, is that it has four panels at the bottom of the dress that flip up like that and you wear a pair of shorts underneath. Sometimes it came with a pair of shorts and then that made it easier to ride your Vespa scooter or your bicycle. And this is an example of American Mod design, but before American Mod was British mod which in my opinion is far more cool and British mod usually brings much higher price on eBay this is a Thomas Kincaid clock it's called the Friendship Cottage and it was new in the box I got it at the Salvation Army I think I paid $1.50 because it was half off sold for $24.99 customer paid the shipping so you might want to check out uh, Thomas Kincaid because he died so now his things are a little more desirable 
This is a 1970s vintage peasant dress and what made it desirable is that it's semi-sheer and a good keyword for this dress is boho peasant dress and they consistently seem to be popular on eBay especially if they're white, off-white, or cream color. So I paid, oh I got it at a church sale, you know the last day how they have like fill a bag for five bucks so it, it must have cost me 50 cents or less and it sold for $58 with free shipping. This is a 1970s vintage maxi dress and what made it desirable is that it's really lightweight and semi-sheer. Semi-sheer is a big uh, trend this spring and fall 2013 and I paid less than a dollar for it at a church sale. I had it at $64.99 and took a best offer of $55 and the customer paid the shipping. This is a 1970s mug by Wachterbach or Wachterbach. I'm not sure how you pronounce that German word. And it has bicycles on it. This is a good brand to pick up if you find it when you're out at the thrift stores. It was in one of my haul videos and I can't remember how much I paid for it. 50 cents, a dollar, something like that. It sold for $24.99 with free shipping. A 1970s vintage Navajo pattern uh, cardigan sweater that I showed in one of my videos and I can't remember what I paid for it, just a dollar or two. And it sold for $42. The customer paid the shipping. And here's a good example of why I now leave sweaters in my store all year round because it's summertime and still people will buy sweaters. Another piece from one of my previous videos. This is a convex mirror, a bullseye mirror with a federal detail. It's made out of composite wood and I purchased it. I can't remember. It was like a few bucks. It sold for $58 and the customer paid the shipping. My last item is this cute little folk art painting of a Newfoundland wild pony. And I think it's about four four by six inches if I remember correctly and I believe I paid 50 cents for it and I got it at the Salvation Army. I had it listed at $29.99 but I took a best offer of $24.99 with free shipping. So that's the end of the video and if you've enjoyed it would you please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to read your comments if you leave them for me below and if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for all the kind feedback and all the nice emails that I get from you. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon.